Okay, so my website propagated in about five minutes, so I hope yours was about as fast as mine was. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to whatever you made, the subdomain, dot the primary domain name that you registered, slash WP hyphen admin, and this will be our login page. If you want to favorite that, you can do that so we save it as a page that we'll always be able to remember to log into. And now we want to go back to this area. And I already know my username because I use this a lot. And this is the password information that we need to save that I also saved in the document here. To log in, we'll put in our username and the password that was generated for us. And we'll click log in. The very first thing that I always do after logging in for the first time is I go to the upper right and then I click edit my profile and then I scroll down and I click generate password. I delete the password they offer me and then I write my own password. And I'll click update profile. And after that's been updated, the next thing we're going to do is jump into installing our new theme. Now, if you don't know by now, we go to Appearance and then Themes. And I always like to click on these themes and delete them. Because these themes come pre-installed on WordPress. And we cannot delete this theme, so what we're going to do is actually go up and click Add new and we will then go to search themes and the theme that we're going to be installing is called Ascent and this is it right here the only one that came it up on the search results and we'll click install on it and then we will click activate what I like to do is also just hover over this and right click and open it up for a new tab and we can X out of the quick install marketplace now and what this will do is this will show us our home page once it loads and this is what our theme looks like after we activate it, it doesn't look like a whole a whole lot but at the same time it's more than a lot of themes do look like when you first install them so we'll go back to the dashboard and then I'm going to just click on this and delete this as well And now to get into customizing some of the things about this theme, I actually really like the color scheme that they have going on in this theme because this is probably my favorite color. But what we can do is go in appearance, we'll go to where it says theme options. And it gives us some options. This is the header settings section. And the favicon, again, is what will show up right here as basically the icon at the top of your site right here. Right now it just shows a blank page as the icon. The logo is obviously the logo and it's probably going to go in this area up here somewhere in this header area. And then we have a default banner image and we can upload that. That's kind of an optional thing. Phone number which is going to be displayed at the top as well. And then our email ID. Now in the next section right here we can go into styling and here's where we can change some of the text styling and things like that we're going to get into all this in a few lectures from now here's social media here's a home page slider and we can put a image as well and for this is other settings we're probably not going to get into this too much but I just want to show you that it is available and there's also other options that we could do such as the customize under the appearance customize and this will bring us into maybe something we're a little bit more familiar with the looks of and if you like to do it and see the results right here we can change the tagline for example and uh, this can say my amazing blog for example and the tagline still displays just just another WordPress site below it. If you want to get rid of the tagline completely, you just delete it. Or you can say something else like 
follow my life. I don't know, something simple like this. And here's where you can upload a site icon, but we're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to save this and we may come back and change this. It's not really that big of a deal. And here's where you can change colors. Background color is currently white and that's this whole area here. You can change that if you would like. If you are going to change that, I wouldn't make it dark since the text is currently dark. So it would be hard to see dark text on a dark background. Background image, menus, which we're going to make in a little bit. Widgets, which we will edit in a little bit as well. And static front page, and we're going to edit this also. Maybe we'll actually leave this the same because we want it to be a blog and this will display our latest post. So we'll probably leave that as it is. So that's just a little quick rundown of what's in this theme and what we can kind of expect. In the next lecture, we're going to delete some more of the pre-installed things and set up the settings area as well. And we'll also install some plugins. So I'll see you in the next lecture.